<laughs> Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I am Mint Man Cow, one of your hosts, followed by. What is going on, guys? Rexy here as always. And Rice Cup. So today we have a guest by the name of Mudkip. He is hey. a YouTuber <laughs> and a streamer. <laughs> okay, it's I was going to explain a lot intros. more. Yeah, right. let me let me let me add some more tidbits. <laughs> okay, he's known for his daily hardcore Iron Man prize videos back in the day, and he also has a max hardcore Iron Man. Now he's working on some crazy ultimate Iron Man shenanigans on the YouTube side. So he's a PVM slash skilling expert. Hey, um, yeah, that's me. I'm. I'm a- <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait! You've got a maxed hardcore. I didn't know that. That's actually sick. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a flex and a half, man. That's huge. Yeah. That's he built his YouTube community, man. Those daily videos with the blue background and a fire and with those thumbnails, man. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I try not to think about that. It's really cringe. It's so good. But you oh. know what? That's what sold you, though. That's what made you stand out, right? It's like, <clears throat> okay. I Should, like the aesthetics. <laughs> Should we yeah. ask for likes now? I think uh, yeah, a good time. Yeah, right now is a good time. Go for a minute. You go. All right. Go on. Uh, can, can we have some likes? Can we? Pretty Just, please. Pretty please. Been, it, it's been pretty good lately, and it's <laughs> yeah. helped the channel out. So if you guys yeah. enjoy the podcast every Sunday, except for last Sunday, hit that like, dude. All right? And we will be better. I mean, I, yes. I think uh, it has actually helped the channel. Like the the oh, last yeah, sure. two or three podcasts have got way more views and a lot more likes just because we've been asking. So guys, I don't know what we asked for in the last podcast, but God, I, I don't think it's ever going to happen. But if we could get 500 likes, very Ooh, ambitious on this podcast, 500, like half a thousand likes on this video. That's like... What's that like? One in three of you guys watching, or some something crazy like that? Okay, drop a one like. In six. One, in one in six. six. My math isn't the best, but that'd be amazing. Five hundred likes, boys. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's do it. I, I reckon we could. I think so. Pro- I'm hoping. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Got, you got this. You guys All got right. it. I mean, we got two. We got two hundred and eighty-two on the last one. So did we? Holy shit, dude! See you, Mudkip. Yeah, <laughs> nah, Mudkip's here. You could ask for dislikes for the. Uh, you for this no, don't even talk about dislikes, man. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's over. Um, so yeah, let's get back to Mudkip after the selling out there. So why Mudkip? Yes. Oh, oh, the name, Mudkip. Yeah. Uh, so you know the old meme from like 10 plus years ago, I heard you like Mudkips? Oh, no yeah, way. I heard, that in, I heard that in high school, but I always thought yeah. it was like about vaginas. I never understood it. I didn't. No, it's a Pokemon. Well, I, I know there's a Pokemon. Oh, you thought it was like a like, euphemism for something? Yeah, I thought it was like, no, do you like just, vaginas? It was just, no, do you like Mudkips? Very, very childish. Meme. You, know, you know what it is? It's like when people say that, I'm just like, okay, so you just have nothing to say. So you're just going to use a phrase that everybody online uses just to, you know, pass the time. That's literally what it, what it was to me. It wasn't about genitalia at all. I like so. I was so confused as a kid. I, I always yeah. thought it was like boobs or something, dude. It <laughs> literally makes no sense. All right. That's brilliant, dude. Yeah. It's like, it's like a rhetorical question. It's not like you like or have to like. It's just... You don't know what to say afterwards. Wait, you know? Mud- Mudkip is like the like the little gooey Pokemon, right? Oh, it's for like sludge. Sake. That is Mudkip. No, no that, that's Ditto. No, it's Grimer. No. Oh, that's wait. Pikachu. Let me have a look. <laughs> Let me have a look, man. I should know this. God damn it, bro. There's oh, no wait. Hold up. Hold up. This. All right. God. Mudkip doesn't exist in the very first Pokemon that came out. That's why I don't know. Yeah, it's third it generation. No. Yeah, okay. Generation three. Garbage generation. Generation one's the only generation. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm All old right, school, okay. man. <laughs> All right, saddle down, brother. Okay, sit down. <laughs> Mudkip's actually only 17 years old, so he didn't actually yeah, play Gen I, I 1. Can't, I can't wait to graduate high school soon. <laughs> dude, you're, you're starting off strong, dude. You're starting off strong. I like it. Yeah, man. Good good start to the career, boys. Thank you, thank you. Rakesy, no, we can't both not. go for a drink, dude. Then it gets silent, all right? Oh, we dude, wow. Well. shit, yeah. I need coffee, man. I've been driving. It's like when you yawn, Honey, like I need coffee yawns. more than you do, dude. It's the morning for you. What's the time for me? It's 8 o'clock at night. I've been up all night. I've been up all day. Dude, the morning is horrible for me. What are you talking about? You should be fresh like a daisy, man. No, I'm more like a wilted rose that got shat on. I'm <laughs> so tired. All right, before people start spreading rumors, Mudkip's at 17, okay? <laughs> he can look 17, though. <laughs> Mudkip, you're from uh, Australia, right? 
Yeah, yeah. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> he's Australian? Yeah, dude, are you kidding what me? What the fuck's going on? And he skates? Oh, man, this is fuck, dude. And he plays Parker <laughs> Iron Man. This is, this is real fuck. I'm just trolling, bro. I'm from America. Oh. No. Oh, oh come shit. Come on, his accent. Come on, his accent. Dude, dude, I don't know. Australian? Oh, Wait, all right. Mudkip, you live... sound Australian, mate. <laughs> you lived in the UK for a while, am I correct? I went there for RuneFest for a month last year. Oh, you stayed for that's what it was a month, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I, I remember watching your vlogs and I was like, ah, oh, he's oh, moving yeah. to the UK. I just assumed you were permanently going to be living here or something. So, nah. what, what was that all about? Because it looked really interesting. Uh, so, you know, Evie, Link, and Rarg, the other YouTubers? Yeah. We all kind of got like a streamer house for a month and, uh, and well, just, just in the UK. Yeah, yeah just to uh, you know, experience the culture. That, that's all. Whatnot. Wait, hold up. So, they allowed you to rent a house in the UK just for a month? No, it was an Airbnb. Airbnb. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a that's a sick idea, though. Yeah, it was so much fun. I really like that. Damn. Good memories. A lot of alcohol. Oh, so, were you an alcohol type of dude? Or did you just drink a few, you know, just to, you know, I didn't drink too much before then, but after going to the UK, I, I drink a lot more after that. I see. My life is uh, any, uh, downwards. Any regrettable drinking, you know, stories? <laughs> yeah, I had a, a couple nights there that uh, I don't quite remember too well. Um, I'm not sure how I got home a couple nights. I've never been uh, drunk right to the point where I blacked out and forgot stuff uh, before then. And there were a couple nights like that. And uh, I'm trying to not have that happen again. Yeah, regrettable. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's how that's not a good drunk, dude. How, how's it feel to black out? Because I've never done that. Uh, uh, I mean, boy. I don't I've remember. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's just, it feels like. dude, it's not, it's not a nice feeling being told that you did things that you don't remember. <laughs> like, that's effectively yeah. what blacking out is. It's like, oh, by the way, you did this last night. And you're like, wait, really? Like, are you serious? Like, that's horrible not being able to remember, like, your own actions. Do you know what I mean? Dude, yeah. I was, like, I was it, doing some shots, man, right? It was just, my birthday just happened, so I was doing some solo shots, and apparently I just woke up in my bed. I forgot what happened. My mom's like, yeah, you started calling family members at, like, 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. Wait, wait, you man, call was, grandma and your yeah. uncle, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why man, I, I okay. I'll tell you this. The last time I was blackout drunk was probably five, maybe six years ago when I was a lot younger, and I remember my brother had to pick me up from the pub and basically, I don't remember any of this, but he said that there was a bouncer that was like seven foot tall, built like a brick shit house, huge guy. And he literally had me on his shoulder. I'm six foot three, by the way. I'm not a small guy. And was just like putting me into my brother's car. And later on that night, I don't remember any of this, but um, I remember I just woke up in the morning. My brother just kicked me like straight in the back. And I was asleep on his floor with like a fucking towel for like a blanket. And uh, apparently I'd pissed all over his stuff in the middle of the night. I just got up and weed like in his front room. And this was just at the time when him and his fiance had just moved into this flat. And they had all of their stuff in boxes. All of their stuff was just covered in my piss. And uh, the worst part was my, my uh, brother's fiance, now wife, she had like this little Disney book that she bought from Disney World's wherever the place in Florida where you have to go, like the Disneyland or whatever it's Disney called. World, Disney World. Yeah. yeah. Like, bear in mind, if you live in the UK, it's really expensive to like go there for like a week or something. She had that since she was a child, and she treasured that book. And it and was just, it was, oh, no. dude, it was soaked. Or like, she had to bin it, man. So, needless to say, she didn't speak to me for about a year after that. <laughs> Bad times, dude. Do not get blackout drunk. It doesn't end Can well. you catch him having sex, too? Okay. Right? Oh, that's another story for another time, man. Yeah, I got yeah, yeah, we, we just... Yeah. <laughs> dreams, dude. <laughs> right, yeah, anyways, let's get back... Let's get back alert. to the Q&A with Mudkip. We need to know more about Mudkip. We've, got, we've gone off on a massive tangent. We're, we're like 20 minutes in. It's always racy, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Was it me? Did I do that? Yep. Well, let's just, like, get back to it, man. Because otherwise, I'm going to go on another one. Yo, Mudkip. Let's ask Mudkip some questions. I'll start it hey. off. Mudkip, how long have you been playing old school? What year was it you discovered RuneScape? Uh, I started playing RuneScape in 05, and I never quit for EOC. I know a lot of people quit then, but I just kept on playing through, and I started uh, when old school first came out as well. Nice. 2005, that's respectable. I like it. Yeah. I like it. You boy, you boys got anything, or you just like give a fuck? I'm just, I'm just trying to remember that night, dude. Oh, fuck. oh I'm sorry, I, just, I can't remember anything. Um, uh, I got one. Go for it. Okay, so 
Bree's having in a picnic. In your RuneScape timeline, where did the hours of playing Pokemon fit into this? Yeah, um, I mean, I think a lot of us never played that much RuneScape as kids. It was more of like a casual thing. Never really got yeah. too serious into it until like way after old school came out. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't played Pokemon in like 10 years. The last game I ever got was Heart Gold. If that tells you how long it's been. Yeah, so. yeah. Ah, that one's worth money. Still. Walker. Yeah, the Pokemon Walker thing. Yeah, I, I, I love that. That one's yeah, actually, like that one's actually worth mm-hmm. money now. If you have the box, it, I think oh, it's really? one of the last ones that's like considered collectible because I have it. I've got a huge Pokemon. I have it, but you know what? It it got soaked with sweat and it died. Oh, because I used to bring it with me to my runs back when I was fit, and then you know, <laughs> that's that real sucks, gross. Dude. Dude. Wait, Mudkip, <laughs> do you so still weird. have your Pokemon cards? I think I have a binder in the garage somewhere. Dude, you think? Okay. You think? <laughs> Come on, man! I want to hear yeah, that. I mean, it's probably in there somewhere. I haven't looked at it in years, but I'm sure it's in there somewhere. Man, I just got my binder back. Rookie. Any good ones? Yeah. Uh, it's got a lot of foreign cards in there. No English. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's got like a polygon named like Poribor or something. It's uh, okay. I got a question though, my kid. What was the yeah. best moment you had when you did the streamer house? Best moments. I mean, like I said, that. we were drinking for a lot of it, so there's a lot that you know, kind of. There's got to be like one or two of those moments where like you just walked in on someone naked or just something happened. Yeah, something know? that just pops into your mind right now. I don't know. Probably the highlights were me just being like blacked out, and I just would come to you throughout the night. And Evie was actually streaming that night. We got back from the club, so like you could hear me in the background throwing up. <laughs> <It's not laughs> oh. I'm sure the vibe's long gone by now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I I kind of like skip through it a little bit the next day and yeah that is that is fucking nasty that is... yeah <laughs> you just hear like oh that's part of the music don't worry how are the yeah. clubs uh, uh-huh. uh the... we just went to like one or two while we were there um again i, I don't really remember <laughs> wait where, where did boss did you live in the uk when you were there for a while? um we went to reading for a week or two and then Egham for the last two weeks Agum. I've never even heard of Agum. Jesus. What what yeah, was it like? like were, were they nice areas or did, did you get any trouble? I mean, it's kind of hard to compare it to how it is in the US, but I mean, everything in the UK is just really different. It's like slightly off, even though, you know, they're both first world countries that speak English, but yeah, everything's yeah. just slightly different. I don't know. It's interesting but, you say that because like me and my English friends, we pretty much say the exact same thing about America. It's like, it's really strange because America is so much like the UK, but there's something which isn't quite home about it. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, like that is the difference. It just doesn't feel like home, although it's oh. like everyone speaks the same language, everyone kind of looks the same and whatnot, but it just isn't the same. Whoa, whoa, you're saying we all look the same, Rexy? <laughs> you piece of shit. All right. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> feel the American. We got accents, you know, like building decorations are probably not the same. Stuff like yeah, that. Everything yeah, everything. Those, those little things. Yeah. Yeah, what are you saying? Everything's really old there. Like, yeah. you know, a 100-year-old building here is considered really old, but, like, a 1,000-year-old building there is, like, pretty new, I think. <laughs> yeah. I, w- I, would, I wouldn't say pretty new, but, yeah, like, there's all yeah, it's like <laughs> A lot of... Yeah, when I went there for only uh, four days, dude, um, we went to, like, the London Eye area. Ton of old buildings, man. I'm like, so when are these going to break down, you know? Like, how much restoration do you have to do to keep mm. that stuff, you know, going? Yeah, Crazy well, I mean, they're building. they're like, uh, God, what's the word? They're landmarks. They're listed buildings. So, say say you buy a building, like right now, I live in um, it's an old church schoolroom which has been converted into flats, right? So this this building's like super old. I live in, and uh, some of the wooden beams and stuff are really old, and some of it will be listed. But if you old if you own like a really old building and it's a listed building, even though you own the building, uh, it could be something as small as like putting up a picture frame where you have to put a now into the wall, you would have to actually contact the council and ask for permission to do it and they can decline you. Like oh, to, damn. to put a picture up on the wall because you're basically it's a it's a listed building, it's historical, and you're not allowed to mess with it too much. Like some of those buildings have single glazed windows, as you can imagine, that would suck. Uh, and they can't even get double glazed because they're listed. What the fuck is a glazed window, dude? It's not a donut. It's like the protection, the right? Glazed. It's like the... Double glazed. All right. Do you not get that? 
Okay, like a double, no like a du double layer of glass. Instead of it just being like one very thin layer where all of like the the heat can escape and like the cold can come in. Yeah. Okay, like two layer. Okay. Yeah, like I've like never it's heard a thin. Like, say a window glazed. is glazed. I've never glazed. heard that. Yeah. Have you uh, raised, have you heard that? Have you glazed no. a window? No. no okay, idea. so it's not like an American thing, You've, man. Okay. No, it's definitely not. You guys have heard of glazed donuts, I assume, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You guys got your priorities <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, fucking it! Oh, does uh, anyone have any more questions for Mudkit, man? Or okay, Mudkit, so any yeah, man, yo, I got you, I got you. All right, so you know you played on the hardcore, and that's when you started your your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, so, it was a little bit before then, but a little yeah. bit before then, yeah. So like, tell us, explain to us your. Well, I kind of know a little bit about it already, but like, um, explain how that all started. You know, like a quick synopsis, like. Well, yeah, you. so uh, I had to get a hernia surgery, and when I got that, I was pretty much out for like two or three months. I couldn't really move much. The first two weeks were awful, but uh, during that time, you know, with a lot of free time, I had time to make videos and edit videos and, you know, more time to play RuneScape then. So I started making videos, and, you know, when you have nothing else to do, you just spend all day making videos, playing RuneScape. And uh, I got lucky with a few videos from the start that just kicked off and uh, just never stopped. Yeah, you got the you got hooked in. Okay. How did yeah. you get lucky on the first few videos? Because I my first few hundred videos were not lucky. I mean, <laughs> like before I really got into it, I kind of posted videos maybe once a month or two before I uh before that all happened. Um, I don't know, maybe something about the YouTube algorithm posting every day at the time, maybe. Yeah, so maybe. Like yeah. after a week of posting videos, you started to see more progress, or is it your first video that you started posting? did well and then you continued yeah there's like one lucky video uh let me see if i could find it dude i mean i made youtube videos back in the day for like probably like seven years and i had under a thousand subscribers so you know <laughs> shit happens <clears throat> yeah yeah there's the video afk alt account type Ooh, yeah i was kind of oh, doing like okay. top five lists sort of at the time before i started doing progress videos Whoa, this video did well, buddy. <laughs> yeah, God damn, bro. Uh, I want to just put a fat whip in the middle of my thumbnail, dude. Uh, I got this shit. Yeah, nice. it's all about that blue background, man. YouTube yeah. was a lot different back then, as I'm sure yeah, y'all know. For sure, for sure. Wait, so this Thanks was one of your first spot, one of your first videos that like did really well then? Yeah, yeah. I probably got like 10,000 views at the time or something. Just built up oh. over a couple weeks. Dude, that's awesome, what a beast, man. dude. Wait, 2017. Yeah. So how long have you been doing uh, RuneScape YouTube videos, would you say? That's pretty much the start of it right there. Okay, okay. It's not bad, man. No, you came <laughs> very far since 2000. Dude, I've been making videos since 2007. So when you wow. really think about it, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that well, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like it, it depends on like catch when you up, take it seriously. Catch you catch up, man. Uh, <laughs> it's not nah, good to yourself to others. Yeah, I'm only I'm only trolling, dude. I used to just yeah. make PK videos back in the time, and every single one of them got copyright strikes, and like they got no views anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I, I didn't even care, man. I just liked making PK videos. So yeah, that's exactly. what it's all about. That you never fun. even it's did it. Thinking, like, oh, it's my job. <laughs> it's just like you just did it. Yeah. Exactly, man. I remember getting monetization and I was just like, why the fuck would I want monetize why would I want to monetize my videos? That is literally my thought process back then. I was like, why the fuck would I want to monetize my videos? That means I can't use this awesome music. <laughs> like why? Why would I do it? Uh, right. Exactly. It's not the same now. I say that we move on now to the first yeah. uh, first topic. Which Warding, dude. Warding. Yes. Rip. So Warding bad. Whatever you want to talk about this. Uh, well, let's ask, yo, Mudkip, what's your opinion on warding? All right. Uh, I voted no. I like some of the rewards from it, and I hope they repull some of the rewards, but I don't think a lot of the rewards uh, need a new skill for it. Do you think that's what the problem is? It's repulling, or do you think RuneScape itself as a community is like, fuck anything new, fuck this, okay. fuck that, it's not coming <laughs> in? Because. Really? Yeah, I think I think people like the nostalgia factor, which I think it's kind of a stupid argument to say like, oh, it's not old school, which makes sense for some things, but yeah, I, know, I think it's a stupid argument. So I have a question for you then: yeah. Do you think this game needs a new skill? Yes or no? Just it doesn't matter. I'm not saying it. I don't think, think it needs a new out. skill. I wouldn't be against a new skill. Like I think sailing probably has the best shot of being a new skill, but okay. It was what pulled about, back in 2014. It was too. What early. about dungeoneering? Except. Um, the rewards are not a part of it. 
and then also the scaling aspect of it's not a part of it so like you don't need it for max cave you don't need it for plastic yeah i don't think it makes sense to add dungeoneering because we have raids we have the gauntlet um but i think they could implement some kind of dungeoneering style mechanics into sailing dude i just had a genius thought process like this happens to be like once a day where i have a genius thought right and this is that moment so i just thought if we want to rejuvenate the wilderness, we're always going back to always back on the wilderness. But like, if you wanted to rejuvenate the wilderness and bring out a new skill at the same time, make PK in a skill. And for every <laughs> kill you get, you get experience. And also for every level in the wilderness that you're at, the experience gets multiplied. Easy. Sort of. Like two two, two like birds, one hours. stone. Two birds, one stone. Yeah, exactly. You just, All the Evelyn you <laughs> But pretty, it's pretty like, imagine, imagine how active the wilderness would be because you'd get some dudes in like full ancestral up at Mage Bank in Morty or something like that, Brad and like all of their alt accounts, and then you'd have people up there hunting them down for their it's ancestral. So bad. <laughs> Literally, you just be walking, and then you load the map, and you see like a square of dots. Oh it, yeah, it would be dots <laughs> yeah, like, all the through the wilderness, man. Make the Rakey, wilderness great the again. Be? What what would the reward be from this skill? You get XP. Okay, fuck. You get a skill cape. Oh my god. What would the HLC say about that skill, you think? Like, that's not efficient. You need 50 accounts to barrage at the same time. I don't know. What could what could the reward be? Get 99, you get the grassy. Grassy, dude. They need to add it to LMS. I just trolled him, but imagine if they just did that, dude. Like, Jesus. Like, let's get back on, on the train. Though. We'd be so making awesome. a lot of videos. That's all I'm we saying. We would. Man. Okay, so oh. warding has passed. Uh, sorry, not passed. It's failed. It got 66%. 66% said yes. 33% said no. Um, I, I feel like they're handling this quite well, though. They're like, having yeah, failed no. to reach 75 approval mark, warden will not be added to the game. Um, it's crazy. It's only 9% off. And uh, mm. I, I just got to make a little rant here. Twitter, Reddit, everybody who hated on warding. And I'm neutral, right? Mm -hmm. Warding goes, I don't care either way. I just hate when people uh, just do this shit where someone was doing a giveaway to anyone who voted no on warding. Did you see that on Twitter? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, and, I then he, and he had 20 alt accounts log in to vote. And he's posted all on Twitter and he's getting praise for it too. I'm just like, this is fucking disgusting. You know what I mean? You're trying to sway a vote because you don't like something. So you're just going to bitch about it. And that's all I saw was a bunch of bitching from warding, like either passing. I, it was stressful that time, dude. Even in the Twitch chat, you'd just be streaming and someone. Yeah, because everyone's like, what do you think yeah. of warding? What do you think of warding? Fuck warding. Oh, what cap think of warding? Just, oh, get the fuck out of here, dude. Just hmm. if, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But if you're going to be a bitch about it, dude, just. Uh, that's all I saw. Yeah, no, like, see, it's one of those. Things why I say some people don't have enough drama in their life, so they'll just make some stupid drama. You know, they'll go in Twitch chats like, "Yo, you're a crusade for the no to warning." I'm like, even my CC had yourself. like spammers in there of like yeah. warning things. Yeah, put this shit for oh. yourself, man. Yeah, and yeah, but yeah, like, yo, I I did pretty confidently predict that it wasn't gonna pass. But I, I have true. a feeling though, if you waited two years or something. Where this, you know, where people feel like, you know what, they need something a little new, something a bit more radical in their lives. You know, I think warning would have been probably a, a strategic time, or like it would probably have passed because all it takes is nine percent, right? Mm. How many years does it take to sway nine percent of people, right, to, to change from a no to a yes? Maybe two years. Right? Well, do you yeah. think that like warning would have passed if people didn't go out of their way to spam? Uh, uh, I doubt it. No, dude. Think about I, it this way, no giveaways. You know what I mean? Like, true. You know how many giveaways true. I've seen no where people voted no, and you'd have to post that you voted no yeah. on Twitter. But you also have to think about the people that are creating alts to vote yes and no too, right? Both There's yes probably not a lot of people with alts but. for yes. Oh, I've only saw the radical no people. Like those are the guys with right. like thirty accounts. Um, I think we would be on the fence with this question. Then I huh. would say that there is a good chance it would have passed if not for all this people spreading but it's like how much of that do you control you know i feel like every time something gets pulled if it's serious enough people will like spread the word and give their opinions even if nobody asked them that's you know how this, it is for a lot this of might people. be a silly question but you have to be members to be able to vote on the polls yeah you need yeah, also yeah, a certain yeah. okay. level 12, well dude members. like if somebody wants to have 30, if someone wants 30 accounts that they're paying for membership on like and they want to vote no fucking um 
It's like, yeah, yeah they're, they're douchey for, like, advertising it, but at the end of the day, it, like, 30 votes, there were 125,000 people that voted. Like, if they want to waste what what's 30 account members, right, can't think, over $100, there. then let them be. No, you're right, because if someone goes out of their way to have that many accounts to support RuneScape, you're almost like, well... You're into daddy, so... You, yeah, you can, you can have your opinion, regardless of how radical it is, it's fine. Yeah. I just saw so many of those guys doing it, though, which is what makes me sad. I just, yeah. My whole timeline was blown up. Like, but it was think fucked. about it this way, though. Food for thought. There, there were two other skills, right? Sailing and artisan. And uh, compared to them, I think warding is probably the most Combat. overall, like, balanced. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But, like, back then, um, I remember, I think, when artisan and, and the other skill was being voted on, I think it was... Uh, it was kind of like a 50% yes and a 50% no. It was like, you know, not as good as what warding has, right? But I think that just comes with the times, though. You know, like back then, people were very conservative. So not as many things uh, passed. So like the more you go back, right, to the creation of this game, the more you realize that people just didn't want anything in the game. But then as, you know, time has gone by, people have become less conservative and they're more open for things. I mean... Pretty much, if you go on any poll results, 90% of anything that gets proposed gets passed. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, minus anything super crazy like warding. But, like, you got a 60, what, 66% on warding? That's only 9% off, man. So Seriously. It's do, just a do, you of think, time. do you think it's just if Jagex didn't even announce warding and just threw it out in the polls, like, it probably would have passed? If there wasn't so much hype oh, around no, it? No, no, I'm not just saying like, that. No, like, fuck, imagine, it, imagine if they just chucked it in, like, <laughs> some fucking, like, really small updates. Like, it's like, we're going to be changing Draenor shortcut to this. We're also going to be adding this new skill warding, yes or no. Imagine if they did that. The bugs and fixes the update. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying, just give it some time, dude. Dude, honestly, we oh, will get a new skill. It's I'd new love time. it. I'd it's love it if they, years. dude. I'd love it if they did that, man. I'd give them. A, I'd give it a yes just for being so fucking cheeky, to be honest. Oh, dude, that That's is great. That, great. I mean, no, hopefully on a smaller scale, you know, some hidden updates. All right. So, well, moving on from warding, uh, something that we found on Reddit is a suggestion for something called ranching, and this <laughs> is like a player submitted skill. And, like, look at this, man. I didn't even know we were going to talk about this. this look I know. at this, dude. <laughs> like, this, guy, this guy's put some effort into it. He's even, like, got, like, oh, my. I don't even know how to zoom it. There you go. Like, look. look, yeah, look, look kit, cool man. You got to make a guide on this, bro. I want to see a ranching guide tomorrow. Like, obviously, 99, <laughs> 99 ranching is going to have, like, pack yaks, of course. Because, you know, it's just how it is. But, All like, I'm saying is, dude, if this comes into the game, I want sex scenes. <laughs> All right? Like, look how this is looks. Okay, this looks wholesome, stuff? man. This actually looks super wholesome. Like, I kind of like the look of it. I'd vote yes just from this picture alone. <laughs> but I haven't. Yo, read you this. can capture penguins. <laughs> I vote yes then. All right, so that's all it right. takes for a sale, dude. I, I'll penguins. just I'll, I'll read I'll read the overview so people can know what this is. But it's kind of crazy the amount of detail that they've put into this for just like, you know, a player submitted skill. Like, it, look at the picture, man. It's awesome. It starts by saying ranching is a counterpart to farming. So even if it wasn't a skill by itself, maybe just like an add-on, right? That'd yeah. be kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah. So while farming focuses entirely on plants, ranching is all about animals. In both cases, however, you can obtain loot over time and you'll discover new locations that unlock unique content. Ranching is split into the following sections. Livestock, capture, environment, companionship, and development. Sounds like Pokemon. So, yeah. Ray, I mean, do you think the uh, Welsh would like this update? Uh, probably. They already right. have it. <laughs> Dude, I, I, on the last podcast, people were thanking me, man. They were like, we learn something new every day. It's true. <laughs> Everything I said was true. You guys can look it up yourself. You I mean, know. they learn about Why your history. So they no, I know. I know. I know you're not. But like some of the things like... It, I, I personally, like, the first time I heard somebody tell me that like a sheep's genitalia was close enough to a woman's, I was just like, really? Like... I'm no, just looking at no. Mike Kip's face right now, dude. He's just oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was just watching the last podcast, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, dude. Okay. Them fucking sheep oh. walking vaginas for those poor, lonely <laughs> Welsh farmers, mate. Feels bad. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, this right, is okay. this is a lot. Yeah. This is a lot of stuff. Somebody, you know, people really, by the looks of it, seem to want to have a new skill into RuneScape. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this is just like two more years, bro. Two more years. Yeah, I, I personally think that a new skill will come when it's ready. I I, I think yeah. if they repolled warding in two years the way it is right now, it probably would pass, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna lie. Or so, yeah. engineering. <laughs> Ranching would have some cool pets. Just saying, do a little sheep pet or yeah, something. Yeah, get a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, wait, we're going uh, to straight to Elmas. I thought we we're going to F City. Oh, Rake sees that. Oh, okay, we're already here. Right we're already here, dude. Let's go. Yeah, we're already so. we're already here, dude. We're already here. Yeah, well, Mike Kip, have you uh, played Elmas lately? I have not. No. No. What's I'm up not into peaking at all. I know oh, it's like man. it looks like a lot of fun, I guess, but I just yeah, it's pretty care. fun. It's all right. No, nah, it's pretty good. I play for like an hour, and I don't PK ever. <laughs> So apparently LMS is closing out of beta uh, Thursday, so August 1st. Yeah. And they're going to be making some more changes, and then they'll open it up into another beta, right? I think so. So yeah, two betas. That's what they really... I like that, dude. This is nice. Yeah, this is really good. I like The thing is, I said before the podcast, we need to talk about Last Man Standing. Every podcast, just because we don't want people to forget about it, man, because I think it has so much potential. I really loved it, dude. Like, I love mm -hmm. Last Man Standing. It was so much fucking fun. So you guys have 11 days to keep on playing it. We're not going to shut up about it because we want Last Man Standing to be good. Okay? Right, dude, this Rake, is good. Is that, you bring up a good point, man. It's really easy to forget about LMS. It is. When there's so many updates, and it's only a beta roll, like, 80 people right now. Oh, my God. I hope people don't forget about this shit, dude, because it's not... With the wilderness at its state right now, with the world hop timer and just everything that is, it's boring, dead. I need this in my life. I cannot wait till competitive LMS comes out. Dude, when, when this actually comes into game, I'm going to go out and buy myself, like, like straight up, I've not done this in years. I'm going to go out and straight up buy myself a new mouse. Just because, like, this mouse is dragging me down. I need something that's better for Last Man Standing, like something more fucking click friendly. But yeah, I can't wait. Um,. They're bringing out a second beta for it. That's great. And hopefully the next beta they bring out will be even better than the first one. And I, I think I'd speak for most people when it was surprisingly good, considering it was basically just one... Uh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to say that, but I know that Mod Rock was the person who was doing a lot of the tweaks and stuff on his own. Um, obviously, he wasn't the only J-Mod that was working on it. I don't think so, but I think that he like had the majority of the project. So, you know, massive props to him for... Bringing out something so successful on the first try. And some new stuff they're going to be probably adding. I don't know if in this beta, but it's going to be a new map. Um, possibly more armor slots. Dude. I heard people talk about they want chest plate armor for a tank. I'm not sure if they're going to be adding that. Uh, and uh, I think they're going to be trying to solve the corner glitch where you have in invincibility frames or squares that you can attack back. I think I saw Mod Rock talk about that. He's looking into that, and that's why he hasn't addressed it yet. For the third party clients. So, okay. Yeah, because that Should was annoying. Be... That, that oh. tilted me. That was the only thing I didn't like about it was. But some people are so bad at the game. There's Having a result to stuff like that. Jesus Christ. Where you can hide behind a tree and you attack someone and then you double square backwards and it shows your an animation backwards. So if you try to attack that guy back, it won't attack him and he can still attack you. And it's not an invincibility square, it's just him doing a tree movement. And that is fucking frustrating. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it's the worst. Right, but yeah, guys, I mean, I, I want to hear what people watching this video, if you guys have played Last Man Standing, what's the verdict? What do you guys think of it? Like, tell us what you liked and what you kind of disliked and what you would change if there was anything. Because I'm curious, be I want to know. Work. <laughs> yeah, it can be like some fucking massive god chest comes down, you get a scythe or a bulwark. One of the two. Why would you want a scythe, dude? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing. Oh, dude. Two god wow. items. Uh, you said Alf City, right? I don't have a link for anything Alf City. Related. I want to talk about the quest first. Did everyone in here but me and Rexy do the quest? I didn't do the quest. You I didn't did. do the quest? No. Oh, I did the quest, but yeah, what do you want to talk about the quest? Dude, Mudkip, you haven't done LMS, you haven't done the quest. What are you doing in RuneScape, boy? He's playing <laughs> dog. Man. He's got, got a pretty new account, so... He's still collecting okay. buckets of sand, mate. Like, that crafting <laughs> yeah, grunt. Yeah, his not there yet, so, you know, it's work in progress. Huh. Man, I, I quit that seaweed grind. I haven't logged into my hardcore since. I even got 99 fishing and fire making on that account. And I was like, I'm determined not to quit this account. Got to the fucking seaweed, and I was just like, nah, I can't do this. Yeah, so what, what do you want to talk this. about the uh, Elf City quests? 
So when the quest came out, uh, it was it was literally my birthday, and I was doing uh, shots of whiskey. And so I think I was decent on shots in when I tried to do the puzzle. I got to the puzzle part, and I just didn't try that. What the fuck's going on there? I was the puzzle room is so big. I had to render four times walking across it. Like it loaded the screen. Like I was playing Tony Hawk. Like what oh. the fuck? Dude? That's not right. <laughs> yeah, um, we're flex, but I I did do the quest without the guide. It took me like eight hours. what a rookie (laughs) Uh, it was a full-time job day right there um, i spent like four or five hours doing the puzzle oh my dude that is impressive i i admire the size of your balls ray fair that shit was fucking hard dude dude honestly it could have been faster if i could find the stupid joey shortcut dude that 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 thing was like camouflaged. My God. <laughs> Wait, no. D- t- was there a shortcut that you missed out on the entire time? Yeah, yeah. There was two agility shortcuts. All right. Have um, you made a video on they're, this? They're bookshelves. Yeah, I already did. Okay. But like the thing is, is that the books, the ones that stick out, you can't really see them because they're they're like blended in with the background. So it's almost like as if it wasn't there, right? So it's just camouflaged. So I'm just look. I'm just trying to like trying to figure out where this light. I know this light has to come from across the room, but there's like. You can't walk through it, right? Because it's just empty space. So I'm like, how the fuck do you... So I spent 30 minutes just, like, backtracking, like, all right, okay, I know the light has to go through here, but I, I need to go there, but I can't go there because it's empty space. Did you not what look on the map and see a shortcut sign? Or was it no, there's no, there's no signs. <laughs> so you literally have to, like, look at the actual answer. And, and then uh, I noticed there, was a, there were, like, books, like, sticking out of the bookshelf on the wall. I'm like, what the fuck is this? You know, <laughs> like, there's two of those. Oh my god, dude! That shit. I spent thirty minutes trying to trying to figure that out, man. It was so AIDS, man. I, I did I the mind. right room, and then I went to the middle, and I got the laser into the middle area or whatever. And then I realized there's a second floor, and that's when I logged out. So, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait! You attempted yeah, you the quest and stalled. Yo, yeah, I'm still halfway through. Oh, I haven't gone back yet. Well, it's, it's dude, hard, dude. I saw hard. Slayer Music uploaded a video today of the quest so you can go oh, and finish it after the podcast man but i've not even done i've not even done morning ends part two so. bro honestly if you if you guys uh, like puzzle solvers no room to talk buddy if you guys like oh, that man. Uh, just do it just go and like you know have at it honestly did you just say if you like lightroom puzzles who yeah the like if you like volunteer <laughs> like those dude Holy i don't know, I know if you like to challenge yourself with that stuff yeah go ahead and do it huh. oh man do you, like, so you thought it was a good quest then rice yeah, it was a good quest. Eight out of ten plot. You know, there were some sacrifices in there, man. There, there were some pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good moral questions in there that you had to like, you know, deal with and stuff. What you know? the? F- I'm saying, was it fun, dude? What yeah, the- it was a fun <laughs> quest. Like the, I'm good. saying the plot, like the immersion. I read the dialogue. You know, that's what. But took you like so the long. you like the puzzle. You thought it was necessary to have an eight hour quest to unlock yeah, a city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Right. I mean, if you do it with a guy, it's like three hours or something, but. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good, man. It's good. It's I don't know. Good. Personally, Ooh. I feel like I'm alone on this, but I'm angry. Guys, uh, I just want to enjoy the new content. I didn't want to do the quest. Oh, that video is so good. Oh, it's so good. Right. That shit is hilarious. This no, credit to um, I I can't even see the name. It is uh, Kate H. Yeah, she's got six. Her. She's got six 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 subscribers. I like that number. I'm gonna ruin. Oh, it. you can change that. Yeah. Yeah, change like, it, drop, yeah. Drops her a sub. Yeah, but, um, her, but hilarious, dude. So, this video. let me just take a, a guess that this is just, like, gonna basically it's explain a what a new quest is. Oh, it's oh, a parody. Cool. You guys wanna watch okay. it or something? No, it's a timeline. It's, it? a, it's a historical timeline of it. It's three minutes it's really long. We can, we can watch it. We can watch it. One I'm movie time, bitch. It's really fun. This is a hilarious video. I watched it a while ago. <laughs> Make sure you have the sound on, by the way. Yeah, one second. I'm just gonna set this up. All right. Right. So tell me if you can hear this. You should be able to. Yeah, turn it out a bit, though. Okay, good. Go. Yeah. Fantastic. I'll raise it out. You can full screen if you want. <laughs> That's a walking animation. <laughs> and you remember all these, too, because you've done those quests a hundred times. Hundreds of times, dude. Yeah, every single dead man mode. Woo! The Plague City. The Plague. The part about dead man mode is hitting my fucking pulse every time. Holy shit. A lot of gamer noises, I like it. Yep. 
Oh, dude, that was a classic Pokemon sound. <laughs> Entering the cave. You heard that? Nate didn't, didn't pick up his plank, plank, man. What was he doing? Ah! Oh, oh, my. <laughs> 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 Dude, that so quest, accurate. the undergrounds, holy. Uh, Can I hire <laughs> this content creator to make me that slap sound animation? Oh, that's so good. That'd be amazing. This is really good. Like, this is really I know. Well it's insane, dude. I love it. It's hilarious. <laughs> the stupid poor tire at the Guys, poor tire. Have officially made me lose my marble. I just subscribed to her. <laughs> oh my god. So funny. <laughs> Crazy little fucker. I oh know, he's he's gone mad. <laughs> if you actually pay attention to your question, go mad. I wonder what they used to make this. I have no idea. Ah, life puzzle room. Ah, classic. <laughs> He's climbing that shit upside down. By the end of it, he just says, fuck the motor gear. <laughs> 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 I love that slap. <laughs> 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 Good, man. Oh, that's awesome. I like that, yeah, man. That was, I, that was so so good. Th I, does that lady have a Twitter? I need to I need to DM her, dude. I need her to make me an alert of that slap noise or something. Uh, it's fantastic. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, that was solid. She probably does, but I, I think that's really cool that they've put that at the top of the release of the quest. Like yeah, that, it's that's so good. Fitting, yeah. I know. I mean, yeah, it's so it accurate. Hard. It's so true. really good. <laughs> She got all I, the frustrating points in there. <laughs> I have to say, I'm like a big fan of like, like this is a very small thing, but it's very pleasing to me to see for some reason. You guys might be able to notice that the windmill in this picture, which is not a picture, is moving. See that? Yeah. How cool is that, man? Like, that looks oh. so sweet. No, oh, it's a GIF, actually. It's not a picture, it's a GIF. <laughs> it's a smooth, <laughs> it's a smooth ass GIF. I can't even see yeah, it, like, it bit framing or anything. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't know anything about this quest. Rui, you need to carry this, man. Right, I'll talk about it. Who right, is so Zalcano? Talk. Who's this? All right. Okay. So Kano is the new skilling boss. It's like Winter Talk, except it's actually way more fun. It's actually fun, and you can't really AFK it. What so skill? it uh, involves a lot of mining and smithing. So that's like the primary things that you do in the mini game. I haven't done it myself, but you know I've done my research. She drops a crazy amount of like ore. Also comes with a pet. And also can drop the crystal tool seeds, you know, to make like uh, the crystal pickaxe, harpoon. What's the XP the per hour for mining and smithing? Uh, the XP per hour is jackass. Oh. But you come there for the the resources and the money. It's like easily can be one mil, two mil, three mil an hour type of deal. Two mil to three mil an hour for a skill. Two. Yeah, it depends on the effort that you put in. Two, blah, 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 blah. two to three mil an hour. Yeah, no joke. Depends on the effort. Only one person can make like crazy money though, because. They have this really unbalanced MVP system. 
Yeah. Where basically the MVP gets to yoink a lot of the extra loot that reg other players in the game would have gotten. So with that one person will get a fuck ton more than the other people. It says it's still pretty good though. It says uh Zalcano is a powerful demon trapped by the elves at the time of the God Wars. Cool Why bit is she of lore so there. Thick, dude. I mean So she's a general, she has to be thick, I guess. Uh, so like, what, wait, wait, wait. She... Of blood, right? <laughs> You know, the end boss for Theater of Blood? Like, that's a thick bitch. Like, they are starting to get real thick with these bosses, dude. No, I'm she's saying. just fit. She's a fit boss. <laughs> right, hold on. You said she's a commander, so she's on par with uh, Krill Turolf. And she's obviously Krill part Turolf. She's part of Zami. Like, actually, she, Facebook buddy. Because she's, she's a demon, so <laughs> yeah, she has okay. to be part of Zamorok. Um, you said she's a commander, so she's effectively as powerful as Krill Turolf. Correct? Yeah, she's Roth? Yeah. Sure. What a beast. I mean, we don't really know. I mean, it's just the minigame. You just fight her. You just mine her to death. That's literally what you do. Oh. Well, I don't know, man. I feel like there's more to it than that. I like that. That's cool. See, I thought that was part of the gauntlet. I, I have no idea. No, no, no. The gauntlet yeah. is its own. It's budgetary, basically. Something about Zolcano is that it drops noted dragon stones. And for <laughs> UIM, trying to build their jewelry box, that's actually extremely useful. Oh, I should tell Vref about that, dude. He needs that shit. You know what he did? He made... He uh, killed Warcraft for like eight dragon stones, took a while, and then he accidentally destroyed it when he was doing his construction grind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he needs to get that shit again. Uh... Oh, wait, you want to talk about the gauntlet? Because that's the activity that I like. Been, I've yeah, been I, dude, I'm just looking at I like the Jagex have taken, like, they basically asked the, the community for, like, videos on the lore, login screens. This is obviously the one that we got. I love this one. This one here yeah, is I like my, I, I'd say that's my personal favorite over this one. Because I feel you, but I see why they picked it. It's like you're entering the city. Yeah, though, you yeah know? exactly. Yeah, I, I, I agree, but the only thing is actually on RuneScape, if you open it right now, you can't see the door at all. It's completely covered by login. Like this whole thing here is covered. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, that's true. Like you literally, right. you can't see the gate yeah. at all. It's like you'd have to see this picture to know what's behind it. Whereas with this... You get what it is because it's on the sides. It looks and the bottom one looks like RuneScape 3 a little bit, that one right there. Yeah, they, I mean, they all look really good. Yeah, they all look good. E even this one, this one, yeah. This one's very dark. I like it. Gives this. me like a Zelda kind of vibe. Dark and sinister. I like it. Mm. All right, the gaunt chair. Anyways, let me see if I can find the gaunt on here real quick. This can't be the only part of the gaunt that they have, right? This little... You can probably Google image it or something. Uh, yeah, uh... Right, so, Reed, do you want to explain what the gaunt is? Because I've not completed the quest, so I have to. Uh, well, yeah, it's it's like 30% of dungeoneering, of what you would uh, kind of like, you know, have for dungeoneering. So, single player, um, self-sufficient PVM minigame. That's probably a good summarization. You go in, you have nothing, but... There's stuff in the rooms that you, they're all generated, you know, every time you go unlock some more rooms, there's some monsters, some resources, you can kill monsters, collect resources to build armor and weapons to fight that boss that you see in the picture. And it's all time. So, the, so like the preparation to fight the boss, there's a, there's a time limit, right? So you will be forced into the boss room once the time limit has been reached. So whatever you have, you have to use it to hopefully kill the boss. So that's that's like the challenge is being able to prepare to fight the boss on time. Mm -hmm. And if you beat the you beat the boss, you get some rewards. I mean, the rewards are pretty underwhelming, but the uniques are like this um, the Saldor hilt, second best in slot uh, slash weapon. That's awesome. Uh, and you also have chance to get the pet and also the crystal armor seed for the crystal armor, the new stuff, the top, the helmet, the legs. It's like range armor with prayer bonus. It's like D high with prayer bonus. Is it? But, I need to look up the stats for this. Is it better than um, blessed D high? We've gone through it before. I think it's similar. It's about the same, or yeah, it's about the same, and it has prayer bonus. It has a lot of prayer bonus. Here we go. But it has charging though. You got to charge it though. That's the thing. So um, unfortunately, the viabilities of the rewards aren't too insane though. Like not like ridiculous. But stuff. in the blade of Salador, 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 you said that it was like a hundred mil right now. Um, yeah, for now, I mean, it's probably gonna go down, though, to be honest. 
I mean, it's probably gonna go it's, down. surely it's going to crash the price of the scythe if there's a close competitor. It's not, it's not. It's not a close, close competitor. Is it a one-handed or two-handed weapon? Yeah, yeah. Think about it this way. It's slightly better than a, a, bis uh, a, a tentacle whip. But it's no, still nowhere near as good as a scythe against large creatures that are, you know, yeah. neutral or weak to slash. Like, the scythe is still like, wah! Like, you know, a fucking bridge and a half. DPS wise, but yeah, yeah right. it's still good. I mean, it'll have some uses. There will be people using it, but not much. I mean, I, I, I just want to read this real quick because it sounds really cool. So it says the newest challenge for PVM is finally here. We present to you the gauntlet. The training ground was designed by the elves to train their mightiest warriors during the God Wars. Will be open. That's cool, man. Like the lore behind the gauntlet's fucking awesome. Yeah, that's why I did the quest log again, sick. so I can read it. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, mate. I, I am yeah. actually super tempted. The only thing is, if I if I come and do this quest, I'm gonna have to do the um morning's yeah, part two. Yeah, try to read the dialogue and stuff too. Oh but... my, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that morning end part two. I've put that off now for like four years. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. But this sounds really cool. What morning's end part two? Yeah, with the guide, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all with a guide. It's still not like none of those quests are bad with a guy. God, I. <laughs> If I do it, I can get the quest cape on Rixie. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I, I, I've no need for it. Like, yeah. what do you get from Morning Ends Part 2? You get, like, to kill Dark Beasts in that area, right? That's pretty much it. I think there's a Elite Clue Step or something. I don't do Clue Scrolls, man, so that's fine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Gauntlet sounds really cool. If it's anything like Dungeoneering... It actually does sound quite appealing. But bear in mind, this this has like some hefty requirements to get to. Like you need to have pretty much base seventies and a lot of skills here. So agility, construction, farming, uh, and herb 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 UIM. I'm trying to get that. It's it's taking forever. Yeah, that's the struggle. Oh dude. yeah, on your ultimate as well. Damn. Yeah. Uh seventy hunter, seventy mining, seventy smith and seventy woodcutting. So it's pretty much like base seventy in most of your skills. So yep. I mean, it's not impossible to get, obviously, but like, you, I'd It'll say you had, time. yeah, you'd It'll have to be, time. you'd have to be more than a casual, I think, to get all of these requirements. Plus, Morning Ends Part 2 is pretty much like, it takes a long time to get, right? Morning Ends Part 2. Like, to be able to complete that quest. I can't think what the quest requirements are, but I think there's a lot. Yeah, there's a whole quest line leading up to it. Yeah. Huh. But yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Um, is there anything else on here, Reed, that's interesting that we want to read? The agility I mean, course. There's a few other stuff. I mean, we talked about these before. You know, they have the agility course. Um, they have the new Slayer dungeon. I haven't done anything there. The crystal tree. It's another way to increase your farming XP. You know, because you can grow that. Um, they have the enhanced teleport crystal, which you know is infinite teleports to the elf places. But you get that from killing the uh, the elves or pickpocketing them, I think. And the new divine potions, I should, I think we should talk about that one a bit more. So these yeah. are basically new best and slot potions for you know anything. You can use it for Slayer, you can or you can bring it to bossing. Because uh, what they do is they don't the, the stats don't go down. Like yeah, I mean you know how like super strains so if you drink it yeah. after a few minutes it it like it trains so, yeah. too low enough that you want to repot. But these potions, they stay, unless you brew. If you brew, it, it will fuck it up. But if you don't brew, they'll stay at their maximum boost. So for, these are uh, best in slot potions for everything now. Basically. Yeah, pretty much. But they're expensive, though. They're, you know, they're, they're not something you want to just be like, using everywhere. Unless you're really rich, then sure, why not? But how much but, yeah. is it for the ranging potion version of this? I have no idea. I have no idea. All I know is the cost associated with it involves the crystal shards. Yeah. And using it on, like, existing potions, so... So yeah, there's more work, obviously, to make them, right? Because it uses pre-existing potions. It's good for Thera Butter for sure, though. But yeah. Think, um, uh, that, Camille from Desert Treasure, that wouldn't be... That'd make it a lot easier then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you were to buy these and drink it, you'll, you'll be constantly boosted up. Only exception is the brew, though. If you, get, if you brew down, it'll stay down. Unless you restore it back, so... But yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let's give me some really good ideas. I'm gonna look into this. Because uh, I did yeah, see also, the... I saw them on the yeah, Grand there Exchange. Some, there were some unintended changes that hopefully they'll fix it. Like, the Crystal Shield's fucked currently. Really? Yeah. Because any, any, any attacks that, that gets hit with the shield on, you lose a charge. If it's a zero, it'll still lose a charge. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty dumb. Like, use it at uh, Armadale, for example. All four minions attacking you and the boss. Every four, you know, every two seconds, you lose four charges. <laughs> Before, it was, you lose one charge if, it, if you were inflicted damage. Which, obviously, you know, you were able to tank a ton, right? But it doesn't matter anymore, because zeros will still fuck it up. So they, they need to fix that. Um, 100% unintended. Whoever coded that shit, recoded it. Because, like, they had to, like, change it from... Uh, they had to like you turn it using sh the new crystal shards to repair to recharge it or to make it right instead of the GP. So, so whoever did that, they fucked up the coding with it. They gotta fix that shit. Yeah, and also moss giants in um in the Glorious Tomb, they're not aggressive anymore. They gotta fix that shit too, cause you know why would you randomly make them unaggressive, right? I saw that on Twitter. Do you think that's related to this quest being put out? Yeah, it might be because the boss shines in the Slayer dungeon might might be the same coding or something. But that that shit is definitely not supposed to be changed. It's because of J Mod being you hardcore uh, and they don't want to die there. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter. They need to fix that shit because that's like we didn't ask for this. Fix that shit. There's also some, you know, like people were hating on the new character models or whatever. You know, it's not relevant to this, but yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of heat on that, like the artists and stuff. You know, either being assigned the job to like change the character because the characters don't look the same anymore. They changed it, right? I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, I did I, I, done the quest I saw a lot of that on Twitter. No, no, no. I did see the pictures on Twitter. If you can, ah, oh, I shouldn't go on my phone. I just personally case, don't <laughs> the graphical reworks too much because they're not like stupidly like. Can you find a, a tweet of it? Like, could you could you find a picture? Yeah, I, yeah, I responded to one of them, so I can find something. Uh, I, I guess I can uh, promote promote my my tweet. Well, my uh, my response to some guy. All right, so this, you know, there's some people talking about like, oh no, you changed it to look like R three or whatever. But to be honest with you, this is not an R three look at all. This is just a a graphical rework. Yeah. Okay? If you scroll down, this is one of my comments. Because, like, you scroll down, I'll show you a picture of the R3 version, and you'll see that it's way different. Scroll down. I d yeah, scroll down before again. we do that, I did see there was a graphics designer. I can't think who it was. but they have Moggy, yeah. I can't remember who it was, I but mean they effectively put the spear into this guy's hands. And uh, I'm not going to lie, like, it looked a million times better. Like, it, yeah. I don't think it's yeah, RS3. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, it was literally just this dude yeah, with the spear. There's, there's a really good, uh, it's kind of like a midway point between the two. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's in this thread, but. Yeah. Uh, it may uh, be. I'll see if, I'll see if, like, someone replied to it. Because if they were to, I imagine it would be here. But yeah, this, this leads to a, a bigger question for this game, you know? Should we redesign existing content looks, like, whether it's items or characters, right? Cause like these stuff are not poll things, right? They just they just do it, and they don't say anything about it. It just happens, right? But should we allow? Should we let Jagex change old models, basically? So yeah, that's I, what it comes I down to. I think if something's coming out into the game that's newer, they could have some artistic freedom. But I just don't don't touch old stuff, man. That's why I love the game so much. I love the graphics when the whip hits. I like the old dude and fucking Lumbridge. It's just yeah, got a vibe, yeah. man. I don't know if yeah, I want to I prefer personally. Yeah, same. I prefer personally if they don't change old stuff. Unless it's like fucking dragon boots, you know? I Honestly, they, those things don't look like fucking... They nah, look like clown I mean, boots, I like mate. the squares. I mean, I, it's just so a spray, but it's whatever. It looks terrible, but yeah, anyways, it doesn't matter. I, overall, just don't just don't mess with old content, bro. Like, just just do whatever you want with the newer stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll obviously keep it... <clears throat> Similar to old school, but like, yeah, just just don't touch like the old stuff, man. Remember when they like, add the pub to Lumbridge and everyone was freaking out? Yeah, yeah. Like, why would you do right that? Uh, yeah, like, what was the point of that shit? You know? I, I I'll be honest with you. Like, I'm not. I I don't have a huge problem with this, but I I do understand why people would be upset. Like this right here, but this is like a blast from the past, really. Like, we do need to have a new graphic design. But I think what Mudkip just said about there being like a middle between the two of these. I 100% agree with. Like, have you guys ever played Overwatch? Yeah. No. It's you got you got nice elf dude versus Hanzo. You know what I mean? Like, what the mm. fuck? That guy, you got the fine cheekbones and shit. Now I don't know, dude. And also, like, I'll be honest with you. Like, uh, aside from the ears, and even maybe even the ears, like this dude looks like a vampire in the armor he's in. I've never seen an elf be buff as fuck. Elves are usually purple, like really right? slim and like agile, right? 
Like, they usually have, like, cloth armor and they can, like, get away fast. And, like, this dude doesn't look like he's going anywhere fast. I don't know what they were thinking, man. This is poor. Seriously, like... It looks like a theater of... What's the theater of blood? Like, one of those bosses, you know? Yeah. Fire bosses? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She looks like something straight out of T.O.B. Like, dude, elves aren't bulky and big, man. They're, like, super agile and small. Like, they're basically fucking feathers that float through the air. That's why they live for so long, you know? Like, this yeah, guy well, here, I'm not gonna lie, this is a pathetic excuse for an elf as well, but at least it's, like, more humble. Like, this is just, this is just wrong, right here. This is wrong! This is accurate, like, inaccurate as fuck. I don't, I don't like him, man, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start a petition myself to, uh, have the old ones come back, but hey. It is Out of all is. the ways to rework an elf, dude, they go with macho purple, dude. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, they're Out like, of all the ways they could have done that, man. They're just like, fuck it, we're gonna make him into the mountain from Game of Thrones. Inspiration. <laughs> kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft. From, uh, uh, yeah. What I've heard. I never played it, but that's what people... Yeah, I mean, if they reverted the old models, I, w I wouldn't even mind. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, completely okay with the, the, with the new look as well as the old one. Like, it's fine. But I think going forward, though, they gotta, you know, Stop what if they did it stuff. okay so runescape 3 has a legacy mode what if they did that for old school where there's an old school mode and there's like a reworked mode well the legacy mode doesn't change the graphics it just changes oh, I thought it, it just did. makes the combat oh uh, old and it's, oh. and it's shit it's garbage you never <laughs> you want know, to play legacy but. another reason why this reminds me of tob is because of the purple right they've yeah. changed even the color on this so obviously they've got the green but they had like a brown hair but now it's purple like, I under these are supposed to be, like, woodland elves, right? So I can understand the green. Well, and there's, like, different types of elves, though. That's the thing. That's the yeah, thing as a woodland boy, for. though. Green and brown is uh, the Shrek colors. That's how he should be. And then you got... Uh, no, no, I mean, like, Morpheus based on the lore, here. this is what he would look like. Oh. That's part of that, like, fraction of the... Did you read every text box doing the quest? Well, no, because I've already done Elf City quest on R Street, and the storyline is very similar. And they all, the anime, it all ends up being the same. Like, the result kind of ends up being the same. You get the city, you unlock the eight, you know, you bring back the eight clans or whatever, and he's, like, one of the eight, you know? That kind oh, of spoilers, man. Come on, dude. Oh, re. Really? Now I'm going to have to watch. I'm going to have to watch a guide now. You in his forehead. I'm going to have to watch a guide now, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to okay. have to watch a guide. There's no point in me figuring that out myself. Yeah, you were going to do the light puzzle, right? I was going to do that. Right. Dude, I was going to do it right after this podcast, man. I was going to sit here for the next 10 hours. I was going to try and get seven hours to beat you. <laughs> okay, bro. This is a bit off topic, but I was scrolling through Twitter, and okay, this is bro. my favorite meme right now with uh, X Mod Matt K. <laughs> putting oh, <laughs> dude. over the high intensity oh, yeah. I've been watching this yeah, shit all day movie. man <laughs> there's one where he's like pk <laughs> um, just stream our thanks dino mate how you doing buddy uh, <laughs> have you I'm seen his doing. original clicks though holy yeah. shit Dude, the iron iron iron. Iron. <laughs> i guess i gotta find it holy oh shit. it's amazing his attempts. oh yeah i think the iron ore is the best one though i gotta find it I don't even know what this guy's training. He's doing like fire making, smithing, and cooking. What? Yeah, I'm lost. Yeah, no, he's doing macro efficient skilling, which is stupid. Nobody really does it. Really it's technique. just to show off. You know? He's basically ensuring that he's never going to get laid. That. I mean, it's cool. You're going to get hit but... by the Twitter avatars later. Dude. Oh, God, no. It's Save it for you. <laughs> I get laid a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, guys. I'm, I'm I mean, that shit's really hard to do. It's not worth it. I'm to be fair, if you can click that fast, man, you got some mad finger skills. So, you know, props yeah, to dude, you. His, his fingers Which got six good pipe, for lonely man. boys. Oh, yo. Okay, okay found the clip. Here, here. I saw one earlier of him uh, doing the This Infernal is the one that they uh, cropped the webcam from. If you want to show this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. The <laughs> off. Thanks, Dino. How you doing, buddy? I don't think he has that. I'm um, glad you're enjoying them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him, man. Bless my man, K, dude. He just. He can take anything, man. Just big respect to that guy. He also streams on Twitch occasally. Not yeah, much I mean, he hit. What's that? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, he hit 11 out of 28, man. So it's uh, not that bad. <laughs> He's trying his best. He's enjoying the game. Oh, uh, God. I, I love Matt. He's such a nice guy as well. Guys, yeah, follow yeah. Matt on uh, on Twitch. Um, oh, he's, li he's live right now as well. He oh. just started, yo. Full <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Uh, are there any other subjects that you guys want to cover?
while we're here. Um, oh, they add a new master stash unit with the uh, Bryophyta staff Fuck. and Ultra Tiara. <laughs> And uh, yeah. it's really, it works out perfectly for me because I got the uh, essence on one KC on the Whoa, UIM. You were so so it's like insane. Hey, Maki, guess what I'm doing right now? I'm going to post a picture right now. Okay. All right. Now have a look at what I'm doing. When it loads, when it loads. Come on. Why is it not loading? There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've what? killed 30 of these so far. I killed 30 oh, bosses no. right now. Is that one yeah. at 128? Dude. Yes, I'm, I'm weak, man. We cover LMS, warding, all these updates, and uh, my kid's just chilling here. And then he's like, "Yo, you want to talk about some uh, stash stash houses?" Dude? Yeah. So, um, with with the new introduction of like some of the new areas, they brought out like some Easter eggs, like the 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 rabbit from like. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, the rabbit goodness. shits OP as fuck. Five thousand HP hits like forty through your prayer. You have to say spot this mother trucker. But yeah, you get like the little grail thing. Um, I don't have it with me, but yeah. I, I saw a video on that. It actually looks really and cool. And with it, they brought out the stupid stash unit, man. This this is another master clue. Uh, the emo perfect, clue, right? amazing stash unit. I can store my staff now. Oh, God, I can't <laughs> believe they did this to me, dude. I had everything available to do every single clue. And then on my eighth step of my master clue, dude, get a freaking bio fight. Hey, stuff, it's right? content for the videos. I know it is, but dude, I... I, I've done the math. It's like eighteen thousand moss rounds on average, dude, to get this uh, essence, dude. Like eighteen thousand. Yeah, because uh, the key is one in one fifty from regular. Oh, I just got one. Um, and <laughs> also the boss drops it out of one in one eighteen. Or something. Get a few champion but, scrolls along the way. I haven't gotten any yet. Two curb bones so far, though. But yeah, so far so all right. <laughs> That's insane. That's an insane amount. That's horrible. Yeah, is. yeah the draw rates are pretty stupid. I I admit. All right, well, that was yeah. that was a pretty good podcast, man. Yeah, right. it, by the way. that's right. Sorry, guys, I just I zoned it out. I zoned it. I zoned out then, and then I realized that there was a comment on the last video saying that Rexy zones out every podcast. So sorry, um, <laughs> yo, I'm tired. I'm tired. Li listen, the thing to remember is we're on different time zones here. I've been awake all day. Re and Min, I just woke they up. just <laughs> woke the fuck up, man. I've been yeah, doing... Mornings are horrible for me. Okay. Mornings are Shut up. I, no I one never cares, man. Morning, <laughs> I care, man. Mornings are relevant. Right, so anyways. Now it's the morning's end. Oh. Oh. Which, the morning we, has ended. which we're not going to be completing ever. Yo, Mudkip, where can the people find you, man? Plug your stuff. Uh, Yeah, twitch.tv slash wild underscore mudkip. YouTube.com slash wild mudkip. And uh, twitter.com slash wildmudkip. All right, so Beautiful. so tell us the plans, bro. What's you know what's under the the development? You know, sneak peek. The plan for the UIM can be quest cape, uh, eventually diary cape. But after the quest cape, I'll go for like more Slayer and PVM stuff. Uh, people, you know, there's there's a big meme on my channel where I keep saying I'm not going to max, and everyone says I'm going to max because like it's just going to happen. Yeah. But I don't see how you can accidentally max an account. Not an ultimate. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, especially huh. ultimate. I think group Iron Man will come out in like a year or two or something. So if that's the case, as much as I love playing the uh, the UIM, I'd probably quit for that. But I'd feel bad because I love playing the UIM so much. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very, very bittersweet. Yeah. So what what about your hardcore, you know? What, is that just going to... Yeah, with like line? my hardcore and my main and my skiller. Like I've, I've tried to log into them. I, I've logged into the main to uh, drop items over, but... Yeah, I, I haven't played any of the accounts. I'll try to do like a farm run or a birdhouse run on the main. I'm just doing. I'm like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I just don't care. I just don't feel. Yeah, motivated. exactly. You're you're just too focused on ultimate. I got you. Well, that was a fantastic podcast, man. Please like it. It was uh, Mint Madcap's birthday a few days ago. You know, one like. <laughs> Yo, uh, happy birthday, it. man! Yeah. How how old happy were you? Belated yeah. birthday. You know, you got any you hairs like on your know. chest yet, dude? Only on, on my nipples. Shit. It's like a lion's <laughs> mane on my nips. Good yeah, stuff. Mint's in his 20s, you know, he's still got years ahead of him. He's good shit. Hey, man. We're so bad at outros. We're, you're fucking horrible. Yeah, let's, let's, outro slogan. Just... let's, let's <laughs> end it. Let's end it.